Also, an incredible damage uh, view here from Chopper 4 just north of Shawnee. This is a housing addition there. It took a direct hit. Roofs ripped off. Tonight, families there are doing what they can to pick through really what's left. News Force Nick Camper has been there all day. Nick. Yeah, it's an incredible story of a married couple that survived a direct hit from the storm. The husband tells me he and his wife had only seconds to get into their safe room. The husband tells me he was watching TV and his wife was watching the storm through the window when she saw a tree collapse in the backyard. From there, they had just seconds to get into the safe room. The owners didn't want to speak on camera, but allowed me to come inside to show just how much damage can happen within seconds. He says there was no time to get into the safe room, so he slid onto the ground in the middle of the living room, covering himself up from broken glass and falling two by fours. Luckily for them, the couple only suffered scrapes and cuts. Houses up and down the street suffered torn up roofs, broken windows, and damaged cars. Fence lines were stripped from the ground. The roof's, roof's gone, fences down, the tree limbs, trees down. It's just, you know, like a, like a bomb went off. I'd never seen it you know, like this anywhere. I've, I've, you know, I've seen it on TV, but until you're one, in one and you actually live through it, you know, it's, it's, it, it really amazes you. Monday morning, family, friends, and folks in the community were out helping clean up this neighborhood of Snyder Heights. I've seen out here when we were out earlier, just talking to several people and neighbors helping neighbors. You know, somebody's displaced and their neighbors offering a place for them to stay. Shannon Schultz is a volunteer with Pottawatomie County and says over 40 structures were damaged, six houses were considered unlivable, and there were no reported injuries. She says it's been warming to see the quick response to help one another. It's been what we expect here and what we're just used to as Pottawatomie County takes care of their own. Yeah, so the family living here says that they are going to be staying in a hotel until they can figure out the next steps. Schultz did tell me that this was a tornado. They're still trying to figure out the strength, the severity of it. We had the National Weather Service, the Red, Red Cross. They were out here surveying the damage this afternoon. Reporting live in Shawnee, Nick Camper, Oklahoma's News 4. And Nick, it's always good to see the Oklahoma standard shining through when folks need help. Thank you.